Now, continuing with our series of radiology spotters, where we discuss uh, classic images in radiology which are self-explanatory and a re resident in radiology or a medical student has to understand how to look at these images. Now, to continue with this series, today I have a chest CT with you. Let us see if you can identify the disease. This patient comes to me for an emergency CT scan and a contrast enhanced CT scan of the chest was performed and you have a CT scan of the chest in front of you. What do you think is the diagnosis? So we know this is a CCT, we can see the ribs, you can see the lungs, you can see the, uh, you can see the descending aorta and you can see the ascending aorta. Now as soon as you see this, the outstanding feature in this image is the ascending aorta is dilated look at the descending aorta, look at the ratio, how dilated it is. So, we are dealing with the ascending aortic aneurysm. But what else do we see? Another outstanding feature that is immediately comes to your mind, you can see a thin membrane like flap which is dividing the two lumens in the uh, dilated ascending aorta. So, uh, what do you think is the diagnosis? Aortic dissection involving the ascending aorta while the descending aorta looks spared. What else do we see in this image? You see slight amount of fluid in the left pleural cavity and you see little bit of a high density you know, fluid around the heart. Let me show you one more image in the same patient. Again slight reaction on the left side, pleural collection and you will see pericardial fluid around the heart. You can see pericardial fluid. So, what, what should be my final di uh, diagnosis? I am looking at a patient with ascending aortic dissection with associated cardiac tamponade. That was the probably the reason that he was brought to the emergency. Now, whenever you look at aortic dissection, there are classifications which have been described which help you to classify them and label them on your report. One is DBAKI system which classifies it into three types. Type 1 dissection involves the ascending aorta and the arch. Type 2 is confined to the ascending aorta while type 3 is the dissection which starts in the descending aorta distal to the origin of left subclavian artery. Another classification which is used is Stanford. Stanford classification classifies the dissections involving the ascending aorta into type A and all others as type B. So, this would be a Stanford type A aortic dissection. And as a radiologist, you should know that type A dissections are the ones which require emergency surgery to resect the tear and replace the involved area with the graft. This is an emergency which requires an emergency surgery. So, this is a case of type A aortic dissection with associated cardiac tamponade. Thank you very much and this is our endeavor in NAMS to create free teaching videos to help people understand the nuances of medical uh, literature and medical science image based interpretation. You can keep a track of our free videos by following us or subscribing to our DAMS daily channel on YouTube. This will help you to stay in touch with us. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck.